My 100 Big Pair Challenge continues and this is a new episode. I will divide this video into three big sections. In part one, I will share with you some tips when it comes to catching big perch and I learned those tips recently. In part two, I will show you some fishing because you want to see some fishing, don't you? And in part three, I will show you those big perch which I caught in last few weeks. So yeah, quite a good chunk of information for you to see. I hope you'll find this useful. So yeah, stick around. Hello and welcome to my 100 big perch challenge. I promise I won't give up until this challenge is done and dusted. And during three series of videos, I will cover plenty of perch fishing topics like presentation, location, lures, rigs, tips and tricks, and obviously very, very big perch banked. And the rules will be very, very simple ones. I will only count perch longer than 40 centimeters towards my 100 big perch goal. So it will be a good one. So please make sure you stick around and subscribe to my channel. Right, now about the tips when it comes to catching big perch. I have two of them and the first one is about a lure which I discovered recently is quite good in certain situations and this is Savage Gear Cannibal Shad at 10 centimeters. Again, nothing new. Most of you will know that these lures are very, very good for pike, but I personally would never ever considered, or at least before, to use these lures in cold water when perching. They are too big, at least when fishing here in the UK. So this lure is not only long, as they say 10 centimeters, but it's it has big volume uh, and it weighs over 9 grams silicone alone. So when you put a chick head on, then you will not be able to use these lures with ultralight setups. You will have to use a medium rod or something like that. In any case, in general, such a fat and big lure is too big or I used to consider that it's too big for perching here in the UK in cold water. But appears uh, in some situations these lures will work and pick up odd very big perch. You see you have to imagine sometimes you will have let's say certain amount of big perch in the area where you are fishing and like 99% of those perch will be very passive. They will be picking only small lures but one or two of that shoal will be absolute savages even in cold water and they will be ignoring small lures and once you chuck something like that in front of them most likely they would nail it every single time. A few more things about these lures. They do have lots and lots of roll action so basically when you retrieve the lure it kind of it rolls from one side to another side and it looks very very kind of appealing to those savage perch. Also, I have to mention that these lures work the best or have the most roll action when you use them with small chick heads or chick heads which has small hooks. It really makes a big difference. Let's say I have here size 1 slash 0. If I would put like 3 slash 0, then it would not almost roll at all. So small hooks are important. But again, then it kind of introduces another problem when you have a small wire in soft lure then the lure wants to come off so to solve this problem I use a small silicone like sleeve which kind of needs to go as much on the band of the hook as possible to not interfere with the holding the fish onto the hook. I mean, hook's point is clear anyways. You just want to have that sleeve a little bit closer to the silicone to fix it in place. And how you retrieve it, uh, it is very, very simple. Basically, you cast it out, wait until the rig or the lure hits the deck, and then you retrieve very, very slow. Pretty much you want that your lure would be I don't know, five to 10 centimeters from the bottom. So sometimes it can actually touch the bottom a little bit. 
kind of bounce, but you always want to have that retrieve like constant and slow retrieve and it will roll nicely and just you will soon see that aggressive clunk of a bite from a big perch and also when I started using these lures uh, I had a few hookups which I never ever ha had in the past from perch basically all the hook and the lead was in fish's mouth I mean quite deep so half of the lure was in fish's guts almost and the hook was very very deep I never ever noticed something like that especially in cold water you know so as I say one or two of the shoal will be absolute savages when it comes to those big perch and when it comes to colors this one which I have in the shot very natural black top with a silverish flex and white gray belly was by far the best one when it comes to picking up those big perch I had a few perch on this natural again color but yeah the best one by far was this natural one uh, these ones which I have in the shot here those are replicas of cannibal of savage gear cannibal they are from Aliexpress from ES fishing but don't buy any cannibal looking uh, or cannibal like looking lure from Aliexpress because they will not work only uh, these from ES fishing will work I tried Meredith they do not work as well and Supercontinent as well they do not work as well only as fishing they do work more or less the same as original ones so yeah if you want to try out I will leave a link below also as you can see in the shot here I have quite a fancy jig head basically uh, I glued eyes onto the jig head yellow in this case and the lead of the jig head is fancy as well basically I altered it so it has flat base and then it can fall only one direction because of that alteration I altered like a fall path it can fall only away from the line if you will and you know be sitting on the bottom just like that just in case if I you know whilst retrieving I want to drop it on the bottom it will st it will be standing up I would give a little pull on the line it would drop and would be sitting like that and the hook would be exposed all the time so yeah another little help in my head which can produce me odd bite here and there bottom line here don't expect to be catching on these big lures during the winter and every day it's more or less like that you will be fishing on tiny small lures to get those bites but from time to time you want to check for you know ones that or you want to find that uh, big savage perch which might be mixed in somewhere so you grab a separate rod or put this lure on and give five ten casts if nothing go back to doing what you uh, were doing before so most likely using smaller plastics but again these bigger lures for perch was kind of like a like an eye opener to me yeah we covered big lures for perch in certain situations to try out and now topic number two and it's about how to attach lure onto your line basically for you who are following me on my youtube or elsewhere know that I do not use any extra elements around my uh, lures when lure fishing so I use most of the time uh, like rappella loop to attach my lures onto my line but my friend showed me clips I mean I used to not use clips like never but these ones they are tiny and they are PTFE coated and they are super strong so once I saw this uh, I started actually using them from time to time still most of the time I would not use any clip around my lure because I believe you know that the less elements or unnecessary elements you have around your lure the more bites you will get in the long run but these ones 
uh, I do consider using them and I use them from time to time I and I did not notice you know any problems with them and they are very very strong as well so yeah tiny black clips do have place in my tackle box and I will use them uh, just one thing if you will decide to order or uh, order them uh, they are super tiny and they are super duper strong just very very strong so uh, again you will have to have quite a powerful fingers to open and close them up uh, especially if you will get the smallest size like uh, triple zero I believe is the smallest size bottom line here is make sure that you have some power in your fingers and your fingers are kind of flexible to open these tiny clips uh, because you might be disappointed when you won't be able to close and uh, or open and close them so other than that fantastic little gadget to use and in my opinion they are being so small and ptfe coated so no reflections uh, they definitely help to pick up or the fish here and there so yeah another great tip for you to try out here we go come on fish on this cast just first one of the morning sorry about broken down glows It's the coldest morning uh, of the year so yeah I will need to check my winter tackle if you will and gloves including and replace them <laughs> no no quick fish there is a quick fish ah came off what it was a fish I mean, no aggressive take, but just took took it on a, you know, like on a little pause without any bite. Damn it! can't tell how big it was I mean it was not I a tiny fish that's for sure little snag yeah see wood is messed up so obviously I wasted a little bit of time just trying to finish my retrieve even though the lure was mis uh, messed up okay let's try once more Water is relatively clear, probably 40 centimeter visibility for the November. You know, it's today, it's the 4th of November. We had some rain in the river, should be more murky. Little snag. I know that the water's temperature will be about here. It is good perch. Again, no aggressive, like you know, bite. Just like stop and then fish is on. Hopefully, this one will stay on. quality fish just not what I need guys not what I need still nice to catch a fish first fish of the morning I have to take off that glow just to make sure I'm not getting it wet too early still got it wet <laughs> Nicely hooked.
Come on, you fish. Good bite, good fish on now. Come on. It's time. Snacks there. And that was a bite. Not too sure if you picked up it on camera. That might be what we need, guys. Just hope it will stay on. This. Or is it. That's fighting a little bit different, but should be a perch. Unless it's a small zander, but should be a perch. I think I saw him. It's a perch. Yeah. Bosh. Even though that's a very good fish, most likely it still will be a little bit short, guys. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Mr. Perch. Maybe it will be what we need. Top lip again. Measure him later. And another one on, on just on an overcast and that feels like a good fish. That feels like a good fish. Uh, feels like a perch just very heavy. Feels like a perch guys just very heavy. Yeah, it's, it must be a perch. I can't see it being a zander, definitely not a pike. Because it's shaking its head a little bit. And swimming straight towards me. So I can pull him pretty much, so it should mean that it's a good perch. I know it actually went to the side, so most likely it will be a small zander. Yeah, it went to the side a lot actually, so it will be a small zander. Almost certain of it. Pesky zander. Like 70% sure that it's a zander. Uh, no, actually, that's a perch. Interesting. Interesting. Bosh. Went to the side that much. I was thinking that's, you know, a zander's kiting, but no. Look, we, we are getting there. Yeah, and this one definitely will be what we need. 40 plus. Good times, good times. Yeah, okay. So we have one, uh, maybe one 40 centimeters. What a morning, guys. What a morning. Okay, a couple more casts and then I'll have to replace that lure, that's for sure. <laughs> Quality little bag of perch. That small one can go back right away. Okay, let's quickly measure this one now. Okay, from 100 to... Come on. Come on, Mr. Perch. Please behave. I cannot believe, actually, it's not. It's not even 40, 39. Something like that. Damn it. Quality fish, but no cigar. And that one... That one actually looks the same, guys. Yeah, it was 39, damn it, and escaped. Damn it, I was certain that the second one will be, you know, 40. Damn it. <laughs> Cannot believe, damn it. Still, still good. <laughs> uh. Okay, that that just might be what I what we need, guys. Feels a little bit heavier, maybe, but it might be a small Z. Damn it! Hope it's not. Feels definitely heavier fish. Uh, 
Uh, no, that's a perch actually. Finally, just please stay on. Please stay on. That's a nice one. That's definitely 40 plus. Finally. Here he comes in the bag. Whew. Yeah. Proper tank. This one is guys. I mean, not, not that much over 40, but it is a 40. Come on, Mr. Perch, let me grab you. Hey, hey, hey. Hooked on the side. Yeah, that is a 40. That is a 40. Not much more, though. <laughs> Finally. Right. All you who did stick around until this point in this video, this is those perch which I caught, as I said in last few weeks. Absolute tanks in there. Enjoy. Come on. Finally, first little bite. Feels like a quality fish. Please stay on. Oh yeah, yes, first one for the morning and that fish is a tang guys, probably 42 centimeters, Bob let's hook out, okay we'll try to go like that, see uh, around 40, that's 45 so that's 50, so it's around 42, 43 somewhere there. So yeah, chunk. Okay, this is at 68. Not bad at all. Two big fish, plenty of back of fish. Yeah, happy days today. Awesome, let's go back. How about that? My number 69 at 41 centimeters. Awesome, really beautiful perch. So yeah, result. 31 to go, I guess. Yes! Another quality fish for a very, very hard day so far. This one is exactly 40 centimeters. But yeah, mint fish from what I can tell. Brand new one. Just look at that, guys. Yeah. Absolutely mint. So yeah, 70 and 30 to go, would be nice to get another one, maybe a little bit bigger for today and happy days and here it is guys, another big fish for a day, this one is at 41 centimeters, not as beautiful as the first one, but yeah, it counts and I have 71 now, how about that for a chunk, as I say 41 this one is, just look at the tail, not the best shape, but He's feeding or she's feeding and yeah happy days 71 let's go back okay guys I have a crazy bag of big perch six I believe towards my challenge I mean uh, I can't I can't even lift them see that is insane so I will try to show you all those fish uh, three of them are uh, over 1.5 kilos so somewhere like we took a weight of two of them and they were like 310 pounds 311 so 1.6 kilo something like that so that's one of them how about that proper chunk <laughs> Ugh. Really, I only have one net. Uh, it's difficult for me to to juggle them here. So that's two of them, three pounders. Ridiculous, guys! Ridiculous. Okay, I will put them here in my net from the inner side 
So that's third one, which is smaller one. Still counts, 40 something centimeters. That's one of them, 46, 45 something. Very wriggly one. How about that? Okay, okay, relax. And then this one, which is very uh, slim, but long, 42 this one was. And the newer one, which is 41 something. Yes, this will be one of the bigger ones. Anyways, uh, you saw it already, but not a bad shape of this fish at all. <laughs> yeah, result, guys. So, I believe this today six fish. I will be on 77 result. Yes. Another great big perch for my challenge, 41 centimeters, and Menta, how about that? Just check out that tail guys, nice, very very nice. So yeah, I believe this one will be my number 78, I might be one or two numbers here on or there after yesterday's bagging but yeah should be 78 so yeah fantastic fish very happy let's go back and here it is number 79 i believe at exactly 40 centimeters minta though just look at that massive dorsal fin quality really fish just look That fish is doing it for you. How about that? <laughs> That's it. Show is over. <laughs> Probably that fish wants to go back. So yeah, result. <laughs> no, look. <laughs> uh, I love when perch are doing that. Just awesome, guys. Awesome fish. Anyway, let's go back. And check this tank out. 45 centimeters. Just beast of a perch mint condition as well and this one is quite special one see uh, in my challenge it will be uh, number 80 <laughs> absolute tank very stumpy fish as well like I would give him like 36 38 uh, so three pounds six ounce or something like that so 1.5 kilos more or less tank absolute tank okay let's go back as they say hard work sometimes pays off and this is what happened to me exactly I stuck out or decided to fish a little bit longer into the dark even though it's only like 20 past 4 December very cold but yeah, I managed this one at 41 centimeters. Really, I was praying for this bite from this fish or any fish, big fish. So yeah, and 81 in my challenge. Second big fish for a day as well. Whew. Yeah, it's chilly. I will slip that fish back. Result, guys. Another river tank for my challenge. This one is about 42, 43 centimeters. Came out in the flow by surprise almost but yeah mint fish just check out the dorsal fin and it will be my number 82 so yeah check out the tail they say mint fish okay let's go back how about that another big perch for a day this one is 41 centimeters mint fish again just check him out <laughs> yeah I believe now I am on 83 17 to go but just look at the shape on this one fantastic really fantastic river beast awesome but it's a bit for me for today I hope you did find this video useful if you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.